Hey YouTube, Petey Grizz here. Wanted to talk about one of my recent acquisitions, and that is the Victorinox CyberTool M, aka the CyberTool 34. Now this is the mid-size knife. They have a larger size knife, the CyberTool 41, which has a file and a saw in it, I believe. They have a cyber tool light that has inline Phillips and a flashlight. And they have the cyber tool S, which is basically a Spartan with the bit driver. Anyway, the cyber tool series came out in 2000. Now this was right when the internet was just starting to take hold and become more commonplace to where it was, you know, terms like cyber and internet and world wide web were household for becoming household phrases. So many companies tried to find any way they could to jump on the bandwagon and make some money off of it. Victorinox was no different. So they came up with a cyber tool, but which isn't particularly specialized for computers, although it does some of the Torx bits were specifically included because they fit uh, you know, PC cases and uh, uh, screws to hold down printing uh, PC boards and stuff. But the... Uh, the bit driver is a great addition though. So even though it's not, you know, the CyberTool name, it's kind of like a lot of their names are just like, like what about putting the scissors on a Spartan turns it into a climber, like makes it useful for a mountain climber or, you know, the names are just, they're just marketing gimmicks. So I, I just look past a lot. The names mean nothing to me. Um, so what we have on here are the ruby red scales. They were standard. You could find them in other colors and with the uh, advertising on them, you know, if, if there was a company that would, wanted to give them out to employees or something like that, you, know, you will occasionally see these with like computer companies or tech companies advertising on them. Has the basic opening layer of a bottle opener and screwdriver combination with the, the wire stripping groove. And this is designed to work on 14 gauge wire, which is very common in houses, solid wire, or like 16 gauge stranded wire, which is a, extremely common. Like you know, it would be most of the wiring on a car for say, or most of the wiring in a computer housing, or even a lot of appliance would be 16 gauge uh, stranded wire. So, you know, that it actually works really well at, at pulling that. As the can opener, I think we're all gonna, be needing to use can openers a lot more in the in the uh, not so distant future so they're good to have even though it's something we don't really need in day-to-day -day life at this point we have a set of pliers Victorinox pliers they're great for the size they are I mean you're not going to change your tire with them or anything but you know there's plenty of little jobs you can do and they're great for grabbing hot stuff off a fire or a stove you know they're great for things where you don't want to risk your fingertips and you can use these instead a pair of scissors you know if you don't know about the victorinox scissors then you better ask somebody they're just great scissors uh you know they're they're just well designed they have a great action and they cut very well you know their only weakness is that the springs do are able to get damaged and get out of a line and, and stuff but if you take care of them you know generally they'll be fine I have a small pen blade if i can get it out just like any other victorinox a small pen blade Ooh, ah yes look at the penness Um, large spear blade and you know the reason why I like the Victorinox uh, blade shape so much is as I said in another video the tip is lower on the midline closer to the edge than near the spine and if by doing that it tends to make it so that you're less likely to use it in a piercing motion that might cause this to fold up and cut your fingers when the tip's farther back, the angle you're going to tend to use the knife at will tend to push it closed. So that's those types of blades are better left on uh, locking knives. And we have the corkscrew because, you know, computers and cyber police and stuff, they need 
corkscrew. Well, you know, what the corkscrew is for is carrying the micro screwdriver, which you will use, use doing a lot of computer work. These are great for operating the little tiny micro switches, uh, resetting little tiny circuit breakers, and of course, you know, driving little tiny screws. So no, that is just a no-brainer why you would include that with the cyber tool. If I can get it back in on camera. It does have a pin in here. And it does need to be cleaned. Funny how that appears on camera so much more than before it's on camera. But you have your little stainless steel pin. And now here's where I see everybody always screw up on camera trying to put this damn pin back. Oh, I think I got it. Wow, yeah, I got it pretty quick. I've seen a lot of people give up on that one. Scale tools. We got the infamous toothpick, you know, to pick the Doritos out of your, uh, I'm not gonna even gonna mention stained keyboard. So, or even out of your teeth if you want. A little ballpoint pen so you can uh, sign for your next box containing your next knife. And the tweezers because why not? And these would make sense in a technical standpoint. These might be nice for uh, manipulating a very tiny part that's hard to hold with your fingers. So that's actually a great thing to have when working on computers. And uh, there are many different types of tweezers specialized in designed especially for working on electronic components. We have the hook. Everyone loves the hook. You know, you either, you know, you either don't mind the hook or you hate the hook, it seems to be the consensus. I mean, I like the hook. I, if you don't like it, just don't pay any attention to it. You, it's not even a issue. It's not like it's on the main side or like you see it all the time, but some people really despise the hook and I just think that's hilarious. Ah, and those bangs are always so loud in the video. And the reamer, because it's just always there. And the piece de la resistance. So I can just butcher some French or whatever. Is the bit driver. And it's a four millimeter drive. A standard bit driver is quarter inch. Or I believe just slightly over six millimeters. But the, this is a four millimeter drive. You can buy these bits from a few companies online. Like Weha makes a bit set for it. And those are, that's like high quality stuff. But uh, the basic bit is a number two Phillips. It's kind of a little smaller than number two Phillips, but the way the tip is designed, it fits a number two Phillips standard screw uh, very well. Say so, uh, this little in between size flathead. I mean, it's the largest one in here. I mean, if you needed a larger one, you have the uh, bottle opener. Has this little um, carrier for the other three bits. So you have eight total bits, you know, four bits that have two ends on each. This has another Phillips. I think this is actually the largest Phillips. And this has a smaller Phillips on the other end. Here you have two torch bits. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to try to look at that. I think it's like T6 and T8. And I think you have a T2 and T and a T2 and a four millimeter hex drive on here, which is, I don't know if, it's, if that's particularly, that might be particularly common in some computer parts. I don't know why they would include it because otherwise it just seems like a wasted spot. Like why would you only need a, how often do you need a four millimeter uh, thing? Funny thing is that's the size of the truss rod on my base, but this fits does not get anywhere near reaching inside there. So this bit driver is, you know, it's the best screwdriver option that Victorinox has come up with. It fits away relatively well. It does take up a lot of space, so the knives end up being thick. So if you don't like the thick boys, then you just have to go somewhere else, you know, maybe carry a Swiss Army knife and one of the many compact ratcheting or non-ratcheting drivers that are on the market. But as far as including a screwdriver and a knife, altogether, you end up with you know, the equivalence of basically what a four inch, you know, Craftsman or Snap-on screwdriver would be, you know, from here to here, the, considering the handle not being as long, but essentially the, the overall length is about as effective as that. So 
that's you know basically your standard size screwdriver so you don't feel like you're losing out here you've got the reach of a standard screwdriver but you've got it in a compact pocket friendly package and uh i think it's a neat knife i bought this one because i had a cyber 29 which is like just a spartan with this bit driver but it disappeared i'm pretty sure it fell in the trash can under my desk and then got thrown out so that sucks so i finally found this for, the price of these went up like ridiculously too they they've i i don't they've gone up like 30 40 percent it's insane but um i was able to find this for a reasonable price second hand so i jumped on it um anyway thanks for watching uh i appreciate everybody that's subscribed and been supporting me it's been really cool to uh talk to everybody and meet everyone i will have another video in a couple days so check out for that Peter Grizz out